Hello, this is uh, One Person Studio here, and welcome to my coding game series where I solve problem solving challenges on easy difficulty. Today, the puzzle that I'm going to solve is called Container Terminal. In this video, there's going to be two parts. The first part is me reading the puzzle so I can understand how to solve it, and then uh, for the second part of the video, is actually me solving the puzzle. So let's read the puzzle so I can understand what, what I need to do. Cargo trucks are transporting containers due for export to a seaport terminal. The containers will be temporarily stored in the terminal to wait for ships to come. To save space, containers are usually stacked up, stacked up in the terminal. There are different ships bound for different destinations. Terminal operators have to pick the correct containers from temporary storage to load onto the ships. If the correct containers are on the top of the stack, it will be easy to pick them up for loading. But if a wanted container is underneath some other containers, the overlaying containers must first be moved aside before reaching the wanted container, causing extra operation cost and wasting time. To manage the container terminal in the most efficient manner, we need a plan. There are ship A to ship Z, totally 26 different ships bound for 26 different destinations. We know the schedule of the ships. Ship A will come earlier than ship B. Ship B will come earlier than ship C. The ships always come in alphabetical order. You know the schedule of the cargo trucks. The containers for different ships are arriving in predictable order. No cargo owner wishes to miss a shipment. All cargoes will arrive before the first ship to come. You have to plan when the when the trucks come. How should the containers be stored? For example, six trucks are sending six six containers to the terminal in this order, which is, which is right here. B is a container for ship B. This container comes first. It is followed by container A, target targeted for ship A. A is followed by two containers C to be loaded to ship C, and so on for the rest. We can arrange the six containers in two stacks like this. When ship A comes, we can pick up the two upmost A containers to load the ship. When ship B comes, the two B containers are on the upmost layer easy to pick up. When ship C comes, the remaining two containers are ready, are ready for pickup and loading. The whole process is used to stack in um, areas. No doubt we do not sort the containers before stacking them up. Sorting is an option too slow and costly to put in practice. Now it's your turn. You are given the cargo truck schedule. Find the minimum stacking areas needed to ensure the most efficient shipment loading. Well, that is a long goal for me to solve. And all I need to do is just do that. <laughs> okay. So the input, I'm going to use Java, so it's, it's okay for me to continue. So the first line is a integer n for the number of lines to follow. And the following lines is the four loops. Is each line is an independent test case, which is a string composed of alphabetical uppercase letters. Each letter each letter refers to a container targeted for its same letter ship. The cargoes will be transported to a terminal strictly in the order shown in the string. Process each line as an independent case. So that's what it does. And for the output, uh, let me close the comments. And for the output is for each line is an integer, is basically the answer for its corresponding input line. That's what it does. Let's read the constraints. So one is less than or equal to n, which is less than or equal to 100. And uh, one is less than or equal to length of each line, which is less than or equal to 500 characters. 
In the real world, there is a maximum height limit for each stack of containers. In this puzzle, we assume there is no such limits. Um, this is an example for input and output. And there's how many test cases are there? There's only five test cases, so they're not asking a lot. And now the second vid the second part of this video begins.